What is a downward spiraling loop and how, <laughs> how do you build that out of snow? Um, that right there, Rubber Duckies, Nico Vanier. Winner of Red Bull Line Catcher 2015, creator of viral ski videos like Heat Seeker, and most recently, one of the masterminds behind the world's first snow made downward spiraling loop. Like, gosh darn it, that's ridiculous. This feature is currently being built in Cram, Montana, Switzerland for the 2022 Nines course. If you're unfamiliar with the Nines, it is a ski and snowboard event that continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. Founded by industry ski legend Nico Zaskic back in 2008, over the years this event has grown in both size and gnar. Nine Nights 2012, we saw Duo Double Core 1080s. 2014, Jesper Schotter sends one of the biggest double backflips known to man. In 2017, Angie Regetli lands the first ever quad cork 1800. Yeah. But all this is just scratching the surface. For the 2021 Nines course had one main feature section and was designed with really sharp, hard cut edges. The 2022 course is taking a different direction. The setup consists of three features, one of them being a traditional good jump, which we didn't really have last year, so I'm so excited to have it back. And when Nico Zaskic says they didn't really have a big air setup in 2021, kind of blows my mind a little bit. They had Reggie and Richard. But even though those two kickers look really big, unfortunately, they're small in the eyes of contemporary freestyle. Big ol' Bertha in the 2022 course, however, is massive. After the jump, there's kind of an end zone feature called the sphere, and the centerpiece of it is an oververt kick out ball, I would say. Uh huh. Picture yourself as this beam of light. You got your ski strapped on your blast in Mach 10 into God knows where. And then you're abruptly kicked up into a 90 degree wall that tosses you overboard. Then you have to whip your body around like a possessed feline to land on your feet. You love to see it. And of course, the final feature, the downward spiraling loop. How do you go about hitting this? Have you seen the, the like the Tony Hawk? He did like this spi spiral. Like yes, the, yes. Yeah, so, so that was sort of the idea is and to sort of create this, but in snow. So that was mostly uh, Nico Zatzak's idea. And he, he, he said, yeah, he always wanted to do this spiral thing. And I pushed him and I said, yeah, let's, let, let's do it. Like, it's really intimidating. I, I went up there today and looked down, it's seven meter high. Holy and transition cow. is, I think it's only 1.5 meters of transition at the end. And so there's, it's like this thing that goes like this. <laughs> and then there's a tunnel at the end and you have to point it. And as much as the nines is about pushing snowboarding and free skiing to the next level, it's also about creating beautiful things with snow. Swatch is our new sponsor. So we combine these two ideas of creating a feature that looks like a watch, but on the other hand, making this the downward spiral loop thingy. Not only does the nines bring out some of the industry's leading visionaries, cinematographers and course construction crews, but obviously they bring together the world's leading freestyle athletes. Individuals like Olympic slope style gold medalist, Alex Hall, Mathilde Grumeau, the first woman to ever toss a switch double 1440. Ah! Matei sponsor Burke Rood, Zeb Powell, Marcus Cleveland, and a whole lot more have already signed up to take part in this year's carnage. Make sure you head over to the Nines channel and subscribe to catch all the gnarly content coming your way. This event's going down next week, and it's gonna be a blast. Speaking of next week, I, I got an invitation. Wow, hey. <laughs> Dude, I cannot thank Nico Zaskic and his team enough for bringing me out there on course to capture some sick stunts for you all. Look forward to some gnarly content coming out in the near future, not only on my channel, but obviously the main Nines channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it's going to be a wild one.